Hi, and welcome to another episode of Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Say hi, Richard. Hi. He's a blender head himself. And today we're going to show how to do a simple UV map. In fact, uh, this is this question came up uh, on the uh, Blender Artist Forum, and I was typing up the answer, and I thought to myself, boy, it'd be a lot easier to just do a quick video of this. So the question was on uh, using 2.46. Uh, they had some changes in how to do UV maps and how to just have a uh, simple example for that. So let me pop open Blender. First thing we'll do is we'll split the viewport. And on the right here, we'll make it a UV image editor. And then uh, we're going to set the tech shading over here to textured. You'll see why in a minute. And then we're going to hit tab. Or you can just click with your mouse and select edit mode. And then we're going to type U to get our unwrap menu. I'm going to go ahead and select Smart Projections. And I'll just accept the defaults, click OK. So then we'll see, this is are the six sides of our cube. You know, cube has six sides. And now I'm going to, I'll just create a new image. And uh, maybe I'll give it a nice red background. And see how this zoomed in here? Just go ahead and hit the home key when your mouse is over the UV window. And then let's middle mouse button click and drag over here. Click that pencil. So now we can edit it. That's cool. And once we do that, let's middle mouse wheel back and drag this over and say view paint tool, or we could have typed C. So now we can paint right on here. I'll go ahead and paint on here. And you'll see, wow, look, I'm painting right on the cube. Well, I'm not painting right on the cube. I'm painting on the image map, which is on the cube. And you can see the sides. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm writing real sloppy, but you can get a sense of the orientation of the map. Now, if you were to render, go here, let's make it render in the upper left corner and click render you don't see our map on the cube that's because we haven't associated it with the cube yet so with the cube selected let's click on our materials button and then what we're gonna do is click on the map input panel and we're gonna select UV then we'll click on the texture button we're gonna add an image map and here, we'll click in the image panel, we'll click loading our untitled image. So you can see right there. And now, if we go back and render, boom, there's your image map. Thanks a lot. Bye.